Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Esqueda. Jeff Kanata is out on a shoot for today and tomorrow. You can check out some of the behind the scenes stuff on his Instagram. But for now, let's hit the headlines. Fingerprint technology in mobile phones is huge right now, but what if we could do away with the button that you need? LG Inatech presented a module called FPC-1268. That sounds a little boring, but instead of using a traditional button mechanism to house a fingerprint scanner, this module would exist under the glass cover of a display, making a button unnecessary. Waterproofing a device would be much easier with this type of configuration, and not worrying about a broken home button is always a plus, especially for an iPhone owner. Even better, unlike much of the futuristic stuff we talk about on this show, we'll see devices using this technology as soon as later this year. Kind of amazing. So we love drones, and we love fireworks. What about drone fireworks? Sky Magic showed off a delightful performance of 20 choreographed drones in front of Japan's Mount Fuji recently. Over 800 LEDs decorated each drone, and a group of musicians played traditional Japanese instruments as the quadcopters formed coordinated shapes in the night sky. This sort of show will likely become more and more commonplace. Also, it just looks awesome. And with entertainment like man-made meteor showers rumored to show up at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, we wouldn't be surprised to see a little drone firework action, too. So these are really good stories. I have to choose one for Thursday because Jeff isn't here. And honestly, I think I'd like to talk about drone fireworks because they're the best. Uh, that is it for our headlines. If you guys want to talk about drone fireworks, tell me what you want to see, what you want drones to be able to create in the sky. Use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter. And if you like your tweets, they'll end up on our Thursday long show. Well, that being said, let's check out our photographer of the day. Our photographer of the day today is Adam, who shot this on his iPhone 6S. Adam says, Ashley and Jeff love the show. I've been waiting for a spring theme to send this awesome panorama of a double rainbow I took in my neighborhood on my iPhone 6S. My five-year-old daughter loves rainbows, draws them constantly, and even has a rainbow song she loves singing. But this is the first time she's ever seen a rainbow. She loved it. Please feel free to use the picture on the show. Cheers, Adam. Well, first of all, congratulations to your daughter on her very first rainbow because that must have been a very exciting moment for her. Uh, also, you did all the things right. You sent us a picture. You told us what device you took it on. You told us a story about it. And you gave us permission to use the picture on the show. If you do all those things and you email tomorrow at CNET.com, you too can potentially be featured on Photographer of the Day. And the theme this month in May is spring. So if you have an older picture, if you live in the Southern Hemisphere, you got an older picture laying around from your spring. Or if you are in the Northern Hemisphere where spring is happening right now and you just snap something cool, send it on over uh, and we might feature it on the show. That is it for today's show, you guys. I will be back tomorrow again without Jeff. I miss his dad jokes, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow, and then Jeff will rejoin us on Wednesday, and we will still, as always, dive into wonderful science fiction meeting science fact, like a delicious, delicious sandwich. But until then, be good humans. See you guys next time.